So Avid has just released a new driver for the 11 rack for Windows. It's version 1.1.6. So to get the new driver, open up your browser and type in avid.com slash drivers. Then you'll get a redirect and come to this site. We'll scroll down and the 11 rack is a USB interface. So we'll click the USB interfaces. We'll go to 11 rack drivers. And you'll see down here, I'm on Windows. So of course I want a Windows driver and release date was today. We have added support for Windows 8. That's great for me because I've been running Windows 8 uh, ever since it came out pretty much. You see this is supported for Pro Tools 10.3 and higher. So if you're not on Pro Tools 10, I'm not really sure how this would work on 9. I don't, I'm not sure. You can see there are several fixes in this new driver for Windows. We get improved performance, miscellaneous bug fixes. So you'll just click this download button to download it. I've already done that. So when you download the driver, it'll be in the zip file. Unzip the file and this is what you get. Simply double click and it will start installing. Now, I've already installed this so I don't need to reinstall it. And when I installed it, I just installed the driver. I did not uninstall the old driver I already had. I just went ahead and installed this over it and it erased the old driver. So it looks like all you have to do is install this and that will erase your old driver for you. So let's take a look at this new driver and the new interface we have. We'll go to our control panel because that's where our 11 rack uh, driver control panel is. 11 rack, it looks just the same as we had. We'll click that. So there's the new interface for our 11 rack driver. Really cool. You see we can do things like change our sample rate like, like we could before. Choose our clock sources. We can adjust our buffer. We can disable host control. It, it's showing our package numbers 1.1.6. It will show your hardware status and if it's streaming or not, hardware control, stuff like that. So they've added some great new features in this driver. Sometimes it may be hard to find the manual, find driver updates, find support, and they've built all that right into the driver. So if you want to open the manual, pop, just click manual, up comes the manual. Really cool. You need to find updates, take you right to your driver updates. Support, same thing. Take you right to the Avid support page. Frequently asked questions, same thing. Take you right to that. And if you have to register your 11 rack, you can do it right from the driver. Really cool and really easy to use. So avid.com slash drivers and you can download driver version 1.1.6.